let me do the super chat real quick. Uh, for Sholi Sean, he said, if if Henny fights Loma outside, he's too boring. He's not exciting. Loma said he's mine. Now we had best Loma, right? Now we had the best Loma, right? He's not fighting Tank that way. No, he's not fighting Tank that way. You cannot stand in front of a fighter the way that that Devin did. Um, was given it and wasn't completely giving everything away. I mean, he, there was a lot of good that Devin did last night. I mean, it was a, mm. it was a lot of good that he did last yeah. night. You know, a lot of good that both gentlemen did last night. I think um, if I had to pick on one maybe flaw or or deficiency that the gentleman had last night, I didn't like how Loma was pacing himself through the fight. Mm -hmm. There were moments where I felt like Loma just had to have his foot on the gas pedal. Anyway. You always talk about taking the belt from the champion. Now you're mm -hmm. trying to take four belts from the champion. You got to keep your foot on that gas pedal and take control. He never fully, if there's one thing that Loma did not do, he never fully took control at any point in this fight, I would say the except only time, for that one round. I will say the 10th and 11th. Only times I've seen him really take control. Yeah. yeah. That's how I see what you're yeah. saying right there. Yeah. And then for, for Haney, um, whether you think it's born or not, you got to keep this fight clean. And if that means fighting the way you fight from the outside, using jabs, turning, and things like that, you got to fight clean. Fight your best fight. Don't fight a fight that you think is going to win fans. Don't fight a fight that you think is the, the, the best way to fight Lomachenko. It, to me, it wasn't. I think that it, it, it kept the fight closer than it should have been. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but nonetheless, I thought both guys did good, and I think that boxing won last night. One thing I seen from Haney, he got to get done ASAP. Is he his head stays on the line a lot? Yeah, I did not realize that. I thought the kid was just more defensively sound because he's his his fight his fighting style is in and out, and he moves his feet. But he also because he's so long, he can lean back and he's so fast he can come right back. It doesn't and now no not now. Well, now you get the, the level with you're the elite. at. Yeah, now you're getting in the ring with the elite. But he didn't even do that last night. Last night it was let me come and let me be right here. But this is not my kind of fighting style. Okay. Blocking punches and stuff like that. That's not my fighting style. Getting to the inside and digging and pushing you up with the forearm and all that. That he he tried to fight a physical fight last night, yeah. but he didn't really have the physical presence needed for he, that style. He looks physical. Yeah. But he's not. Yeah. Malik Scott. Malik Scott looks big as a heavyweight, but he's not. And shout out to Malik Scott. That's just always got. You know, Malik Scott ain't got the strongest punches as a heavyweight. What are you talking about? He ain't got a lot of knockouts. If he you, got like 35 were, victories. If you were a boxer, no, I'm is not that who fighting you, Malik. No, I'm saying, like, is that who you would, you would compare yourself to? You would compare yourself I to? I could stop somebody. No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> uh, who, who, who got a bunch of knockouts and getting got end up getting murdered by an elite heavyweight? Boom, Seth Mitchell. <laughs> so you beat yourself I'll run through people and then I'll run into a Chris Ariola and get my ass whooped <laughs> I'm just keeping it real